Hi there, my name is David Knorr. I'm the author of Relationship Economics, Return and Impact, and most recently, Co-Create. I wanna welcome you back to the Leadership Insights newsletter where, on a monthly basis, I try to share an insightful perspective on how to become a more effective leader. This past month, I was blessed to be able to hear Alan Mulally, former CEO of uh, Boeing Commercial, as well as Ford, really speak about this idea of working together. In the session, I was also able to pick up this book, American Icon. I've got to tell you, I'm having a hard time putting it down. It's a fascinating read about his journey in leaving Boeing, joining Ford, and turning around one of this country's most iconic brands. What I really appreciated about Alan's session was the simplicity in which this executive led one of the most epic turnarounds any of us can imagine. It, the story talks about, and he shared, the, the challenging times that uh, he was brought in to Ford to turn around the company. And I just wanna read you a handful of ideas that he shared in, in our session together. As you can see, he talks about skilled and motivated teams, which is a great foundation, but really working together, principles, practices to really deliver value. I loved his ideas, his comments about everyone's involved. I love his ideas about there's one plan. There's not different iterations of it. There's just one plan that everybody sees and reads. And that transparency makes everybody aware of what's really happening. He talks a lot about a compelling vision, a comprehensive strategy, and relentless implementation. Of particular value, and I believe he's working on his own book, was this idea of a weekly business plan review. Every Thursday, with the entire senior leadership team. And if they had to travel, they dialed in. But what was fascinating was in 47 years of doing this between Boeing and Ford, Allen missed 10. So it became a commitment that on a weekly basis, we're gonna get everybody on the same page. Clear performance goals, facts and data. Everyone knows the plan, the status, and the areas that need special attention. Propose a plan, positive, find a way attitude. In many organizations, I find the biggest deterrent to getting real change implemented to be the culture, to be the infighting or the jockeying or the political landscape between different fiefdoms, if you will. And Alan proved that that's not the way to not just turn around an organization, but really help it reach incredible new heights. Emotional resilience, trust in the process. And I love the fact that he talks about having fun. As a matter of fact, the American Icon book describes him as an overgrown Boy Scout. He has a very unassuming presence about him. He's also incredibly personable. Now he has a backbone of titanium, so he's not gonna be a pushover, but by the same token, he's very personable. And his smile, uh, his handshakes, his Demeanor, the Kansas background, really helps you not just believe him, but believe in him in whatever he wants to do, and you can't help but feel like you want to follow him. Here's my question of you. Are you overcomplicating your vision, your strategy, your direction, where you're trying to take your team? If I went and randomly spoke to a half a dozen folks within your organization, would they talk about one plan? Is there sufficient strategic thinking with a relentless focus on implementation. If not, Alan's example and what he was able to do at Ford might just be very useful to you in what you're trying to do. My name is David Knorr. I'm the author of Relationship Economics, Return and Impact, and most recently, Co-Create. I hope you'll continue to come back and gain value from these leadership insights.